Hello, my name is Dr. Ron Eaglin, and I'm going to take you through a very simple example of using SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Management Studio is Microsoft's tool for uh, managing databases within SQL Server. And I'm going to do some very basic stuff here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a database that I'm going to call my music database. So to show you how to do this, now inside of SQL Server Management Studio, you can create things using the query screen by just clicking up here in a new query and creating a new screen here, but, but I'm going to take you through both the wizards and the query screen. So if I were to create a new database here, um, I could go right click here and actually choose the option new database. And if I do that, it's going to take me into a, essentially a database creation dialog. And the database I'm going to create here is going to be called music database. So I'm going to make a little music database and I'll show you what the different specifications for this music database are. So if I then click OK, and if you notice you've got the owner, well the default owner would be DBO. Um, it shows you how the two files that it's going to create when it creates the database are, are there. Um, I can set this up so that I could use full text indexing within the database, but I can make a change later on. There's different options that you can have for more complex things that you might want to do with the database. But right now I'm just going to create a simple database called Music Database. Okay. It's going to execute that. It's going to be relatively fast to create that. And if I then refresh here, I'm now going to have in my list of databases, Music Database. And if I open up the uh, plus tab here, I'm going to see that I have diagrams, tables, views, synonyms, programmability, service broker, storage, and security. Different things that you can do within the database. Now the database I'm going to create, this Music Database, it's going to be very simple um, database design. I'm going to have three tables, artists, albums, and songs. And um, I'm going to show you some different ways to actually create this. So one of the ways I can do this is I can go over here to the tables to create my first table. And I can say new table. And it's going to take me to a little new table wizard. I'm going to create ID um, with a data type int. And um, or I can just type it in INT. It'll go straight to integer. This will not allow nulls. Um, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to set this to be the primary key. And <clears throat> I also want to create this field to be an identity. So if I come down here to the uh, identity specification in the column properties, I can say is identity yes. It took a little while to do that, as you can see, but it did get it done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a second field called name. Uh, I'm going to make it um, an Enver care. Uh, and I'm going to make this an Enver care 200. So basically, be a 200 character limit field for the name of the artist. And that's it. I'm going to close it. And when I close it, it's going to ask me if I want to save. And I'm going to call the table artists. All right. So artist is now created. If I drop this down here, I'll see that I have a DBO artists table. Now, what other ways can I do this? I'm going to show you another way to do this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit the new query. It's going to bring up a new, nice screen here, but if you look up here at the top, you can see that uh, the SQL is actually using the music database. Now, if I wanted to use music database, I could always say use music database, and it will specify specifically um, which um, table or which, which database to use. Now, another way to create a um, table here is just using the SQL. So I could say create table. And this table will be albums. Okay, I open parentheses and I close parentheses. This is actually going to be a little faster here. The albums table that I designed is going to have the field ID, artist ID, name, and year. All right, so I'll do that. ID, which will be an int, an integer. It's going to be primary key. And identity, starting with one, incrementing by one. And that's it. There's my ID field. Um, I have a few other ones I'm going to do. Artist ID is going to be an int, and it is an, it's going to be a foreign key. And I'm going to actually right now do the put the foreign key relationship in later in this case. Well, actually, I'll do it in this case. Foreign key references. Okay. Now the table it references is artists field ID. To make it nice and simple. So now that actually is a foreign key. Um, I'm going to do 
main. I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start this artist ID with just lowercase. The name, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in Vercare 200 for the name of the album. And I'm gonna have another field that I'm gonna put here, which will be year. Um, now notice the year turned purple. It's actually a field that has a specific meaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this within brackets so that it specifies that the year itself is a text field called year. And that's the way that you do that. And in this case, it's going to be an Enver care. And the year is four, so that's now a limited Enver care. And there is a table called albums. And if I go ahead and execute this by clicking execute or hitting F5, it now has this table. So if I come back over here to my tables and hit refresh, okay, I can now see my albums and my artists table. Okay, well, that's pretty nice. What else can I do here? Well, I'm going to create a third table, um, and I'm actually just going to take all this away, except for the identity one. I'm going to call this now songs. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these. Um, the songs I'm going to have a the song is going to have a name. And I'm going to stick with my same uh, convention I had in Bear Care 200. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to have, in this case, I'm going to actually have an album ID, and it's going to be an int, and this will be a foreign key to the album, but I'm not going to do that just yet. And then I'll have a track number, and I can make the track number an integer also, which actually kind of makes sense, but I may, maybe I want to have some track numbers that are, um, you know, numeric, that I can have. Um, differently, you know, I'm going to stick with int, I'm making those decisions as we go along here. And now I've got this one. Okay, now notice that I had an, a link, a, a, an album ID, which should be linking to album ID, but I didn't do that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and execute this. Okay, so now I've got the third one. So I've go over here to tables and um, hit refresh. Now I'll see the third one. Well, I didn't create the foreign key that I wanted there. Well, I could do this by going to the um, table itself, um, this table, and I could modify the table and do that. Okay, so I could say edit. Oh, this is editing the rows. I don't want to actually put any rows in there. Um, I want to go to the design mode, and I could come over here and I could right click, and I could actually say index, I could put a relationship in this way. Okay, and I'll actually, that's the way I'll show you to do it. I'm going to go relationships. Okay, I'm going to add a new relationship, and this will be in this case, a um, table and column specification. Okay, what I want to do here, if I click this and click this little guy right here, well, the primary key table, the primary key table, now remember, I'm in the songs, the primary key table is actually going to be albums. And the primary key field is ID. The foreign key table is songs and Album ID. So album ID in songs points to albums.id. And it actually makes sense. If you look at album ID points to albums ID. And that'll create that foreign key relationship. Okay? That's done. Okay, now if I want to actually see these and if I click this again, it'll ask me if I want to save the changes. Notice it made changes to two tables because I made a foreign key relationship between two tables. Okay, so now that's done. I can close my SQL windows. Now the beauty of having this in a SQL window is that I can save this SQL text so I can recreate this here, but I'm not going to save it in this case. I'm going to do one last thing here. I want to see what my table looks like, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a new database diagram. Okay, okay, it's going to ask if I want to create the, the, the uh, I items here. I'm going to use both, all three tables. I put them together, and now I can actually see the relationship between albums, artists, and songs. So as you can see, very quickly I was able to put together using the query window, the wizards, the database diagramming, and the different tools within SQL Server Management Studio showing you that there's more than one way to, to skin this cat, different ways to easily and quickly put together a table. Thank you very much. This is just a simple getting started building databases within SQL Server. I trust that everybody here will have, um, will do very well with getting started in SQL Server and building and creating tables. Thank you very much.